Trax offers the most advanced shaping abilities of any product in the reticular lighting category. The 2 foot by 8 foot array can be cut to length and the LED bars can be snapped to size with increments between every LED or every LED group. These two features make it easy to navigate around obstacles, follow curves in the application, or to create advanced shapes. No matter how one shapes tracks, power will be routed through the wires and the LED bars, ensuring every connected piece illuminates evenly. With all power disconnected at the source, locate the point along the array that you wish to make a cut. Make the cut using wire cutters or a sharp pair of scissors. Proceed to cut the other column of wire at the desired point, if necessary. The Trax array can be powered from any of its four wire leads or from anywhere using the power link cable accessory. Use WEGO connectors or wire nuts to cap off any unused wire leads that will not be connected to your power source. This will prevent the array from short-circuiting if the wires should come into contact with a conductive surface. The array's LED bars can be snapped to size with increments between every single LED or LED group. To snap the bar, first locate the desired snap point. Firmly grasp the LED bar and bend it back and forth until it snaps apart. It may be necessary to clean up the snapped edge. Lightly brush away any remaining debris. This will remove the leftover conductive material from the snapped edge and help prevent the occurrence of a short circuit. We have developed a few accessories to assist in shaping Trax arrays and to make installations easier. The Trax PowerLink cable allows one to create an array-to-array -array connection or an array-to-power connection. It may be placed anywhere along the array wires. This accessory can also be helpful when dealing with short lead wires that result from cutting the array. To install the power link cable, point the orientation arrows towards the top of the array. Snap the cable ends over the array wires you are connecting, pressing firmly to close. Use the Trax Precision Screwdriver to tighten the connection block screws so that they pierce the enclosed array wires. The Precision Screwdriver, sold separately, has a depth indicator mark at 7 mm. This indicates how far the connection block screws must be tightened in order to fully pierce the enclosed array wires. Be careful not to over-tighten the connection block screws. When cutting the tracks array to length, the lead wires can become very short. This makes it difficult to connect it to power. Solve this scenario with the power link cable, which can be attached to any part of the array wires. To create a power connection, simply cut the connection block from one end of the power link cable. Strip these wires and connect them to the power source or control component. Clamp the remaining connection block over the array wires as previously instructed. The next accessory is the Trax Centipede Cable. This product helps transfer power to floating LED bar sections. It is especially useful when creating unique shapes or navigating around installation obstacles. To use the centipede cable, locate an LED bar that is connected to the rest of the array. Line up the cable's wire clip to the mounting hole slots of this LED bar and snap it into place. Connect the next wire clip to the floating LED bar in the same manner. Ensure that each bar's LEDs line up down the array. Repeat this process, ending on the next LED bar that is already connected to the main array. Use the included screws to secure the LED bars to the centipede cable clips. Once the screws are fully seated, they will have pierced the wires and act as conductors, ensuring the LED bar illuminates. Insert screws through the centipede cable clips mounting holes to secure this section to the mounting surface. This will prevent the floating LED bars from moving. Now you know how to shape the Trax array. Check out our other videos on the Trax product line to learn more.